Hi everybody, my name is Heather. Welcome back to my channel. I am gonna be sharing a junk journal flip through with you today. This is my personal journal and it is kind of a special journal because I created it in Amity Blooms. I took her, her course called um, Artist in Bloom and she, so she kind of walks you through how to create this journal. I, I tried to follow along pretty specifically to how she created it. So um, it's really just a, a super fun class. I can't, I cannot recommend it enough. I learned a lot of different, just, it was very freeing. It was very pretty. It was, I love the way she put everything together. It was very inspiring and she gave you a lot, a lot of tips. So um, basically the cover is I put some vintage wallpaper here and just like a little bit of, you know, old papers and I sewed around it. But the but the basic principle of this type of journal is she kind of teaches you how to make this sort of almost like a little book on top of your cover. And I messed this part up a little bit like because this part is not supposed to flip out this way, but it does on mine, but that's okay. And so I just put some pretty papers on the inside and then this one flips out like this and there's a little belly band here where I just took one of my little Polaroids of some Queen Anne's lace that I took a picture of and I put my name just to kind of make a little name, a name card for there. And yeah, so this kind of flips out like that, which is kind of pretty. And I just covered it with lots of pretty papers and lace and then on the spine, there is, um, this fabric here is from a vintage hanky. I love the blue roses and this really pretty silk is underneath the, the lace. I wanted to give that like blue shining through. And then on the back is just some linen, linen fabric. So yeah, so that's kind of like the gist of how the journal. And then I love all the like lace bits peeking out of the bottom. And the side is pretty chunky. I filled it up pretty good. So I'm pretty much done working in this now. I'm just going to put it on the shelf and let it be. So, so basically the way I used this journal was every time I wanted to just create a pretty page, kind of like using collage, or if I had a special quote that I wanted to put down, or I just, I just kind of put pretty things in there that I really loved. I didn't use it necessarily as a daily journal and I don't have any specific theme it just it's just a bunch of stuff that I love inside so um so yeah so basically like I said this is supposed to open up here and then this part opens up here and this was actually supposed to be a tuck spot but I didn't put anything in it I just loved it just how it was it's so pretty with all the mixture of fabrics and wallpapers and like I love Amity Bloom style. She has such a way of using, like kind of putting papers together. And one of the things that I really took from the class that I use in my art all the time is my love of like embossed papers. So she, I love how she used them and she kind of showed you how what she did. And so now I, I definitely was inspired by her um, because I use embossed papers for everything. So I just love, I love the way this journal turned out. So, so yeah, so then you open it up and this is actually the first page here. I don't know what that is. And on this page, I just kept it simple. I put some sheet music and some lace here. And then on this page, I used a printable from Little Pink Studio. She has this really pretty set of um, embroidered linens and I just made it pretty with like the roses and just makes me happy and then this is a little flip out I love this quote I am a collector of moments of things songs photos notes conversations tickets clippings bits and pieces of life reminders of happy days and hard days and everything in between isn't that just so perfect for all of us that keep keep a junk journal you know so yeah, so typically for me, I am not a huge daily journaler. I like to keep my journals, um, I have different ones for different things. Like I like to do collage. So in here, you're gonna see a lot of collage. If I just collaged papers on this, on this page and I didn't write anything, 
I would be totally fine with that. It's sort of like art therapy for me. It makes me happy. I just, I like to put pretty papers in a book. I don't know. It doesn't really mean a whole lot, but it's just, to me, it's like a creative outlet, you know? And it's art. It's sort of like an artistic, you know, outlet. So then I have journals where I, I like, I like really like to journal my emotions. So if I'm having a bad day, if something happened in my life, if there's something I'm struggling with, if there's somebody that hurt me, or if there's something I'm upset about, I like to journal it out. I like to write all of that stuff out. I tend to journal the most that way, but I don't always decorate those journals that I write in like that. And I was thinking about like maybe I might change that in, in the next year, like make a journal specific for um, writing, but I tend to just like write, 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 just to kind of get it out. And I take up a lot of space writing. So my junk journals and my writing journals do tend to be a little different, but, um, but it's all art, you know, it's all like art therapy. It's all expressions of yourself. It's sort of like just even using colors that you love and just little bits and pieces of life. It's, it's very therapeutic. So, so yeah, so that's my first page. And then this page is kind of simple. I just put some vintage wallpaper here and I made this little bookmark. I just took some papers and um, put a little bit of sorry silk up there and made a little bookmark for the inside. And then this is one of my printables for my shop. It's, it's in the, um, I forget which kit it is, but I'll, if I use printables in here, I will, I will link them below. And it's just a quote about motherhood, never above you, never below you, always beside you. And I really love this picture of this woman with her daughter. So I have two boys, um, but this picture is just so, so sweet. So, and then this page you saw on my YouTube channel where I, I created a journal with me um, with one of my dried roses from my rose bush this year. Did I say when I started this journal? I started this journal early of 2020 and I just now kind of like stopped working in it. So I've been kind of creating in this journal for a good year. So, so yeah. So this is from my rose bush from this year. And just a little quote, sometimes the little things in life are more than enough. And if you want to see how I created this page, you can see another video on my channel. And then this page, this I actually created the week that um, COVID was ha first happening and our country in the US, well actually it was our state. Um, they, we kind of went into lockdown and they, they closed all non-essential businesses and like we were home. So I put this poem in here from Mary Oliver and it's called I Worried and it's just a beautiful poem. And then in this little envelope here, I put, um, I just did a little bit of journaling about what was happening on during that time. And then in this pocket, I have this picture of this little lady just because I liked her just some pretty little pretty little things in there and I put a quote here keep your face always toward the sunshine and the shadows will fall behind you so yeah so that's that page and then this page is just some pretty papers I like the yellow I put the a yellow pocket here and it says we are all broken that's how the light gets in and I put a really pretty old postcard in this pocket and this is one of my printables too. I want to do more with this kit. It's such a pretty kit. Um, I forget the name of that kit too. So I'll, I'll make sure I link, <laughs> I'll make sure I link these below. So I love that little butterfly there and it looks pretty with the yellow, I think. So yeah. And then this page is the one that I made the other day. Um, this was for the keepsake journal August and this was the I, w I was um, signed up to do a page spread for the first day and so yeah there's a video on my channel of me creating this page too so you saw me make it the other day and if you didn't I just was kind of documenting my birthday and this is a picture of me and my mom so yeah so that's that page 
And then this is another page that I also created a video on. No, I don't have a video of this. I think I might have had a, an Instagram little video. But yeah, um, I just did some collaging here and then I put this quote. Meet me at midnight in the forest. We'll make a fire and count the stars that shimmer above the trees. It's a little poem by Christy Martine. And it reminds me of my husband and I because we um, go to the mountains a lot and we like to make fires and just sit outside under the stars. And so on the inside here, I just did a little bit of journaling about, about that. So that, I love this page. I love the way this page turned out. It's like super special. And then, um, over here I just did like book pages and this is a napkin, like an embossed napkin and some lace. And then I don't have anything on this page. This little snippet here is actually from a drawing that I did and I had a little piece that I had cut off so I stuck it there. So I guess I can, I don't think I'm going to go back into this journal. There's a, there's a few um, empty pages in here. And then this one I did a video of for the for the seaside video so there's also a journal with me on my channel for this and I just put you and me in the sea and some pretty um, blue floral and I made a pocket out of this these are all printables from my shop so I'll, I'll link that below it's like the seaside seaside dreams kit I love this page like this little lady looking out over the water so peaceful Meet me where the sky touches the sea. I just love that so much. Oh, and then this is a poem about the sea that I wrote in here. And then I just put this little picture of the seaside in this, this little pocket here. And this my mom made out of um, tea bags. She made these little strips. So that's just a little piece of that. Nothing on there. And then this is a little page spread that I made just using a little tag and a prayer card. And there's a quote, open the window and let the light shine in. I love this page. This is a little drawing that I did. I, I posted this picture on my Instagram, but this is a drawing that I created um, and I didn't like it. So I just, I took an art class one time from Renee Mueller and she said that whenever you are creating art, if you paint something or draw something and you don't like it, to cut it up into pieces and use the little snips in your collages, which I love, I love that idea, that concept. And then this is uh, the middle spread. This actually is my word of the year, breathe. So if you have a word of the year that you that you pick for the new year. That was what I picked this year, Breathe, for 2021. And I just made this little tag of this little ballerina girl with, I loved this pink paper, See the Beauty Around You. This is um, Amity Bloom's little, uh, what does she call these? Her sentiments. And I loved this sheet music. It says, oh, send out thy light, because it just makes me feel like you know, I don't know, I'm just, I'm kind of obsessed with quotes about light and, and just kind of like shining your light and being a light and all of those things. I actually would like to make a journal about it one day. This is just some vintage wallpaper. I made a little tab there. This page is so pretty. It's just this really beautiful lady and I put I wish I could show you the astonishing light of your own being. Really loved, I loved collaging this page. I like the neutral tones and this, this fabric is so pretty. It's like a denim and it's, I just made a little tab of it. It's from Joanne Fabrics. It's kind of like embroidered denim. It's really kind of like a tie dyed denim almost. And then this page is just some vintage wallpaper. And then this is a little scrap that I got from Catherine of French Beadou, which I love the little hand and the rose. Um, that's always a symbol of friendship. And then this page, um, I put a quote here 
for there is always light if only we are brave enough to see it if only we are brave enough to be it and I just I liked this like layered um, sort of like sideways layered of the papers so yeah so I love this page here and then this page is just a pocket of a vintage envelope that I put like a Victorian scrap on and this I got in a happy mail from one of my subscribers Vicki um, I just loved the little note that she wrote me it was like super encouraging and just really really sweet and kind and she sent me the sweetest little happy mail so I put her little tag in here and then um, this beautiful old postcard I love the uh, like the font here on this just so pretty I love that pink flower so it was just inspiring me I want to make a printable out of that about out of that postcard and then uh oh I think I'm stuck to the page yes I am and then this page is just uh, an image from a magazine that I liked a lot follow your soul it knows the way and then I just wrote bloom there and then this page, I just really, really liked this um, mannequin. I have one similar to it in my craft room, so I just glued that in there. And then this page is just collage some pretty papers and wrote myself a little note to keep going. I think I was having a bad day that day. And then this page I never finished. It was just a some a magazine picture of some pretty dishes. I love to collect old dishes, so that was why I put that in there. So I have a lot of different pretty floral dishes that I've picked up at the flea market and stuff. And then this page I really love. This is, um, I really like the flower allium, and that's what that is. And then this flips up here, and this is just a little piece of a card that my husband wrote me, a little note from him. So I just tuck that in here. And then this page is also from a magazine. I loved this like flower arrangement. I thought that was so pretty. Find your happiness blooms and give it... Find where your happiness blooms and give it a place to grow with love and joy. So pretty and then that's it I think that's the end so yeah so basically that is all of my little collages and I hope that you enjoyed um, watching this little flip through I really really loved making this journal and I'm gonna put the link to Amity Bloom's class below so in case you're interested in taking her class um, you would make a journal very very similar to this she kind of shows you how how to do the fabric cover and how to make all the little flaps and it's very very um, it's just such a fun class so so yeah so I hope everybody has a good day and I hope you guys are having a great weekend and I will see you next time bye